Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about President Biden's response to uh, what's going on in Texas and whether or not he's doing a good job, whether or not he is meeting expectations as far as things go, because he is catching some criticism. Some of it is coming from people who like him. Um, you have people who like him, who trust him, who find him reassuring, who want him to come down and just show his face. And I get that from a political standpoint, from a PR standpoint. Yeah, go down there, throw some paper towels at people, hook up uh, a generator, get some footage and leave. It makes sense politically. From an emergency management standpoint, it doesn't make sense at all. It's a bad idea. When the president comes to town, emergency resources get diverted. Police, fire, EMS, hospitals have to make preparations. Roads get interrupted. It's not good. Um, it's not something Texas needs right now. So he is doing the right thing by not going. Presidents in the past have uh, made a spectacle of going to survey the damage. It, it, it's all political when they do that, and it's always wrong. Once the situation is well in hand, sure, go down there. Until then, stay away. Now, the criticism that he should come because that's how he needs to control things, that's not how that works. Um, that's just wrong. <laughs> From an emergency management standpoint, he should not go down there. He is also catching criticism because he has just now issued a major disaster declaration. And this is, from what I understand, coming from Republican politicians in Texas. They are probably painting themselves into a corner without realizing it. Um, they may not understand some of the nuances behind the declarations. So let's go through a timeline. Things started going bad on the 15th. Okay, They got real bad on the 16th as far as power being lost and, and the real problem starting to occur. When did Joe Biden issue the emergency declaration, which is what allows FEMA to start distributing money? The 14th, the day before it happened because he reads his presidential daily briefing, and he knew it was coming. I'm wondering why the politicians in Texas didn't. A major disaster declaration literally means that the situation is beyond the capabilities of the state and local officials. Given the fact that this was entirely preventable, if I was the majority party in Texas, I'm not sure that I would be pointing to that and trying to draw attention to it. Um, because this situation rests entirely on the management that led up to it. This was something that was completely foreseeable. This was something that could have been avoided, could have been mitigated, and now that declaration, the major disaster declaration, has been issued because something that was preventable and something that could be mitigated is now beyond the control and capabilities of the state and local officials. Um, overall, as far as what we have come to expect from a government response to a, a disaster, to an emergency like this, a, he, he's doing really well in comparison to everybody for a while, actually. Um, could he do better? Yeah. There are things that he could have done. Uh, it, it would have been nice if, since he was obviously aware of the issues and he was probably aware of Texas's failings, he could have had FEMA step in and put out alerts and provide the information that people needed prior to their power going out. But when you want to criticize this, it is, you're hitting levels of emergency management 
that we don't see in the United States. You're talking about really proactive stuff. Um, he is well beyond any expectations of any recent president. So, but no, even if you like him, even if for whatever reason you, you think he would feel better if he was just there shaking hands and handing out blankets, it's a bad idea. It's going to divert resources that are needed right now. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.